Hello everybody, this is Cool Samus Guy and welcome to System Test 3 with the ESL 1500 series final control panel. This system test is going to contain mechanical horn strobes, so let's just get straight into it. If we go over here, we have a Simplex 2099-9756 dual action pulse station. Fun fact about this pulse station, this actually came out for my school along with the other pulse stations that you guys are going to see on my system. For those who follow me on Instagram, you guys probably knew what was there before this horn stroke. But for those who don't, I used to have the Gentex GMS up here, but I took it down because it was not sounding right. So, as a replacement, I used my Faraday 6120 reverted by ESL. I still haven't changed the heat detectors yet because these are like my only good heat detectors that I have in my collection. For those who have watched System Test 1, you guys probably knew that I said that I wouldn't be changing smoke detectors for a while. Well, I actually got new detectors up here. These smoke detectors here are ESL 711U 2-wire photoelectric smoke detectors. Fun fact, I actually saved six of them out of a dumpster. I tested four of them and they worked. And two of them did not have terminals so there were no way I was able to test them. I put up the two working ones up on my system, so now all the smoke detectors are ESL. Over here, I have a Simplex 4250-120 pulse station, which was here on System Test 1. And if we go up, we have another alarm. This alarm here is a custom alarm. It is an electromechanical horn behind a Cerberus Pyrotronic strobe plate grill. I'm pretty sure the strobe plate grill used to have a horn or a speaker on it, but I actually bought three of these off of Aaron Productions. What horn is behind it? It's the same horn that's used on the Simplex 4903, 9219, and the Gentex GMS. It sounds good on filter DC, but on FWR it doesn't sound as nice. I'm actually taking down this true alert soon, and I'm going to be putting up another notification point spot right next to the Cerberus Pyrotronics alarm. The reason I'm taking down the truller and putting up another notification point spot in its place is because I want to be able to have a strobe spot here and a horn spot there, so therefore we have two different notification point spots right next to each other. And you'll guys understand what I'm talking about on System Test 4 or 5, but we'll see. We still have the same ESL smoke detector. This is the same smoke detector that was here for System Test 1 and 2, and perhaps it is the same smoke detector that's over there as well. So that's pretty cool. And over here, I have another Simplex 4250 Um I actually replaced the handle on this because the original handle broke on me. However, I had another broken Simplex 4250 and I was able to use that handle off that pole station to this pole station right here. So it pulls really well, and I'm probably going to test it in the system test. Over here, I have another Simplex 4250 and. I put up my other stopper that I had on my MS2 demonstration board. The reason I replaced the stopper is because, you know, the other stopper that had the siren, it was just getting really annoying, so I had to swap it out. Overall, it still looks good on on this wall right here, no matter what. It's, it's the same thing, however, I think this used to have a horn, but no horns coming out, so that's very unfortunate. And above, I think you guys are going to be satisfied what it is. That's right, I have a Gentex AVP strobe plate, and the horn that's on it is a Wheelock 34T-24. There's no notification applying spot because of course we have the horn strobe combo over here, right across from it, so I don't see why we need to put a horn or a strobe there. And right here is the same smoke detector, just like the other two detectors that are on this system. I'm going to go ahead and turn on this light, so you guys can see. And we still have the EST Genesis remote strobe and the same heat detect from last test. So enough is special over here, but I did replace the GE Roberta 270 SPO that was over here with a Simplex 2099-9756. And unfortunately, the back box is getting loose on this wall, so I'll have to tighten it somehow or whatever, just leave it as it is. So that's the overview of the system, and now we are going ahead and test the system. Now, before we go ahead and test the alarms, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the panel and the panel's gonna start beeping. The reason I have unplugged the panel is so that way we get filter DC current because these horns will not sound great on, on FWR or full wave rectifier. So we are gonna go ahead and activate the system with this Simplex 4250 120. So 
This is gonna be pretty loud in three, two, one. That was very loud. So um, I have reset the pulse station over there. So let's go ahead and reset the system. And here we go. Now let's go ahead and test one of the ESL smoke detectors. And I'm gonna use my E70 because I lost my magnet. There it goes, it's blinking. It might jump scare me, we'll see. Set the system and that's zone four. The E70s and the CH70s are very useful because they have a magnet on the side of the alarm or right behind the uh, module. So let's go ahead and test this detector. And it should be going into alarm and jump scare me once again. I'm gonna try something. Okay, just had to do that just for one time. We're gonna go ahead and pull this Simplex 405120 and call it a night. And before I go ahead and set the alarm off, I have plugged the panel back in so all these horns will be on FWR. So uh, have mercy on your soul. Yeah, it's loud. So let's go ahead and reset the system. Well, that'll wrap up system test three. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like and also subscribe if you haven't already. And bye. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching and see you all in the next video. Peace.